Hey, it's Mike from Drive80.com, and today we're going to focus on making After Effects non-scary for you. Today's topic will be the rotation tool. So to start off, we're going to make a new comp, Command N. Make sure you've got uh, all this stuff's good. 920, 1080, square, 24. Da -da 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 -da. At this point, I would hope you know how to use After Effects somewhat if you've been following along with all my other videos. So we've got our comp. Now we need to put a shape in the middle. So we're going to hit Q to get a square. We're going to draw a square in, and I'm going to take the Y and I'm drag this in the middle by holding down Command and clicking. If I didn't hold Command, it'd be all over the place. Command, great. Center it. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Today is going to be focused with this little tool right here, Rotation Tool, and it does exactly what you think it would do. It would rotate things. You can go left, you can go right. And depending on where the anchor point is, you can have some really funky things happening. So if I hit Y to get this anchor or um, pan behind tool, which is up here. Um, anchor point, you can drag this around. So these two kind of can go hand in hand, where if I had this here, I can use W to get the rotation because W stands for what? Rotation. Yeah, okay. And I would rotate around. So now you get a little bit of weirdness happening so you can have some fun. So let's say this was kind of, if you're gonna rot you're gonna animate it, it's gonna like come in and then hit here to stop. This could swing come back and forth. Now you could do all this stuff with just hitting R down here and, and messing with it there. But to have some control up here, that's where you'd have the rotation tool to do that. So let's kind of mess with that a little bit. Let's bring this, let's delete this and get another square on stage. Um, I always call the stage the comp, whatever, sue me. Um, okay, I'm going to center it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do different key points. So if I'm here, if I zoom in with the plus uh, key, oops, what happened there? What did I do? There we go. And I'm going to hit R to do a keyframe because that's what R is, uh, R again. So option R is going to give me a keyframe, which you're going to see here. And I'm going to have it rotate right just to start. So I can move it to here, the time indicator, at whatever time, and I can rotate it right. Or... I can hit W and I can rotate it right and then I can go to this point and I can rotate it just a little bit and then I can go here and have it go backwards. So what it's doing is it's, set, it's just controlling those areas and saying at this key point, this keyframe, the coordinates are going to be this. And so I could do all that by, you know, dragging this these numbers right here, and that's one way to do it, depending on your workflow. Some people enjoy where they want to use the tools, and that can help them a little bit better. And so let's see, we had N as in um, necrophiliac, and uh, we close the work area off, and we hit Control-0 to render preview. We'll see that we've got a little bit of movement going on, all based on utilizing that tool. Let me open it up so we can kind of see, get some space. So yeah, it went right, went right, and then went right a little bit. And the way that make that one seem a little bit more lively, so I gave it some space there. Let's see. There we go. So it goes right there. So it goes right, right, left. Done. And it's just going backwards because my work space is done here, and it just jumps right back to the beginning. So it's going here. So it's going right, and then it's going just a little bit more. But the time it takes to get there is all in this space right here because bigger the gap, the longer time it takes. The shorter the gap, the shorter the time it takes. I mean, that's the very simple fundamentals about video, and that's why I use video, because at the end of the day, you hit play and pause, and that's the only control you have. You can't break it like you used to be able to do in Flash, which is why I stopped using Flash. Even though I think it's still great, I personally just got fed up with it. But that is the rotation tool. Uh, just, I don't think there's anything else you can do with it. Um, I mean, you could expand on it, and let's say that, let's delete all this stuff. So now, this is this is where it was at. That's the last coordinate it was at. That's where it's going to be. If I hit Y, if I take the anchor point, if I moved here, and I hit W, so let's go to the beginning. So W, let's give it a rotation. Let's start the rotation off here where it's not doing anything. But then we're going to move it over, and I take the rotation tool. I'm going to move it here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go just a bit back more. And then have it kind of here, and then scrub over, go back a little bit, and then there, and then one more time. I'm sure this is going to look very choppy, but whatever. So let's render preview it. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. So it's kind of slowing down. Swing, 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 swing. I mean, obviously, in 
know, with inertia and gravity and all the fun physics, this would obviously look a little bit different. And that's where you're getting more about more into timing and things like that. But this, these tutorials are just to show you about the tools or not. So to show you about actual theory and motion and in motion in general, that's not what my, my goal is. It's just to show you how to use this so you can take your creative mind and build off of that. So hopefully that was helpful. My name is Mike and I own driveyday.com. We are an animation studio based in Raleigh, North Carolina currently. And depending on when you see this video, but yeah, if you have any questions, email me, but you can also comment wherever this video is hosted and ask any questions because when you, other people might have the same question and if I can answer that there, then a lot of people would say, oh my God, I have the same question. You're such a great person for commenting that name of person asking that question. But yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, and also just email me if you have any questions. And if you don't want to animate or, you know, if you think this is great and think this is too confusing or too nuts for you, then you can also hire us to do your explainer animations. You can check out drive80.com and see the samples of our work. Thank you. Keep on, keep on.